Hello everyone for Voice of Reason, this is Jake Schwartz and it is November 30th, 2015 here at Kobe Bryant Gymnasium in a few moments we're about to have the man, Greg Downer is about to come on and talk to us about coaches versus cancer as well as what tonight meant, the Maroon Madness was the official madness to kick off high school basketball season here in the Lower Marion area. Another great night again. It was a uh, intergender uh, scrimmage between the men's and women's. Great food, good prizes, and a wonderful performance uh, spoken by head uh, St. Joe's basketball coach Phil Martelli, who just spoke about how much we want to get rid of cancer. All proceeds tonight will benefit the coaches for cancer. We'll hopefully have Coach Greg Downer right after this. This is the voice, or should say voice of reason, right here at Bryan Gymnasium, named after that guy that name sounds familiar. That's right. Kobe Bryant, who as of yesterday officially announced that he will retire at the end of the season. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Kobe Bryant Gymnasium here at Lower Marion High School. This is Jake Schwartz for Voice of Reason and another great successful Maroon Madness has just taken place right here at Lower Marion High School and joined now by the man who has been for the last two decades, or two and a half decades, I should say, and has been a big part of this announcer's life, who has done a phenomenal job. And by the way, this is an audio recorded version of Voice of Reason. Greg Downer, welcome to Voice of Reason, and it's always good to see you, and I'm just ready to go. Season is just a few days away. Yes, yes, we're excited. Uh, another successful Maroon Madness in the books, and uh, we open up Friday night at Coatesville, December 4th, first game against... Uh, the quality Coatesville Red Raider ball club. It should be it should be exciting. Yeah, former uh, Division One player as well, and Chuck Moore. I know you have a lot of respect for. What can you tell us about this event? Because all proceeds do benefit Coaches versus Cancer, and if I know anybody that's involved with Coaches versus Cancer, it's got to be Greg Downer. It's a great event, and as as Phil Martelli, Brand Dunphy, Jay Wright, all the uh, all the local coaches have said, you know, it, it's an unbelievable cause and. We're, we're going to fight this thing and, and, until we can until we can beat it. And second place doesn't work with cancer. We've got to keep chipping away and and raising money. And as Phil just indicated, give give these world class doctors uh, the proceeds that they need to to one day wake up and say that we've won. Yeah, we really have had a lot of people in our families and lives, mine in particular, and I'm sure yours in particular, have been affected by this horrible disease because, you know, in basketball there can be second place, but like you said, cancer, there's just never going to be a second uh, place. Let's talk about you, your background. You have a heck of a background and an unbelievable resume, and you've impacted my life and my mentor's life, and I know that gentleman very well, Jeremy Treatment, and what has he meant to this program? and and what would you say uh, you've learned here the last 20-plus uh, years here at Lower Marin? Well, Jeremy and I go way back. You know, I met Jeremy in the early 90s, and he was a part of some of the early Kobe Bryant days, and we've had kind of a... a I believe he plays for the Lakers now, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just... We've had a... Jeremy and I have had a two-decade uh, friendship, and, you know, I, I've known you for a long time, and sure. I always uh, appreciate the... The journalistic support that you give us. You're very the, welcome. The kind things you say about the uh, the Aces. Well, you, you, you know that I have a little bit of a uh, distinct background of myself being that I now have worked the last couple of years at the other school, Harrington High School, but you know that uh, on a night like tonight, we would put those differences aside and say that we're coming together as the town of Lower Marion, for, and it's, again, it's for a great cause. Let's talk about the, the history of Lower Marion that you've had, and it really goes through a guy like Kobe Bryant who last night announced his retire will be announcing his retirement at the end of the season but how about those other players you had Ryan Brooks Garrett Williamson who by the way played for coach Phil Martelli at St. Joe's uh, and Mike Robbins who's now at Temple and Daryl Reynolds at Villanova and the list goes on and on what can you say about those uh, group of individuals well Kobe set the tone and uh, got us that first state title in 1996 and ever since the Kobe era we've kept the expectations very high. We haven't lowered them and we never probably will lower them under my leadership. We've been to four state championship appearances uh, beyond Kobe. We're very proud of that and I've been surrounded by very dedicated coaches and very dedicated, very 
talented players, many of which you just named, uh, Ryan Brooks, Garrett Williamson, Greg Robbins, B.J. Johnson. I thought it was Mike for some reason. Greg and Mike. Greg and Mike. They were definitely the Robbins brothers who yes. definitely had great success. So we Because his dad was here tonight. He was a very big supporter of Laura Berry, yes. and rightfully so. We've been able to, to keep it going, and uh, hopefully uh, the Aces are not dead yet. Well, this year, a lot of new faces and a lot of young talent that's coming in, and I think it really starts with Terrell Jones, but uh, there's a lot of other that uh, you've got some really good size coming up this year, and maybe even the future of Lower Marion is uh, he just won the Arbeth League Championship, Stephen Payne. What can you say about those athletes? I kept five freshmen, which I've never done during my career here. That's, that's a large number of freshmen. We're excited about what they can be down the road, but you touched upon it. We think that Terrell Jones, from top to bottom, is our best player. 6'4", high-volume scorer. Sure. Uh, a lot of people don't know about him, but I think there are going to be many nights this year where you open up the paper and you're going to see 18, 20 points out of him. Uh, seven guys that have worked very hard returning to the roster and eight brand-new faces, five of which are freshmen. So it's kind of a mixture of hungry seniors and juniors and, and youth. Hopefully the seven returning guys can do a good job this year, and then when these five freshmen start clicking down the road, uh, we're going we're gonna to be a, a, a tough out. Yeah, what about that really, uh, the one big guy that you have, the African-American with the, uh, I think it's, um, if I, I just had his name off the top of my head, but can you refresh my memory on who it Deion is? Deion Harris. Deion Harris. What about, what about his thoughts? Deion Harris, who, it's been a long, again, it's been a long day for me, but uh, it's been a long season, or I should say, for football, and it's only going to get longer with basketball, but what can you tell us about Deion? Uh, he's a 6'5", uh, junior forward, did not see a lot of playing time last year. Uh, had a good AAU campaign and somebody that we think can uh, be successful certainly in the Central League and very athletic, a guy we're looking to do damage uh, five feet and in. Final question, how, how well do you think this event, uh, I mean, with the coaches versus cancer, uh, does this mean we're any step closer to crushing cancer as Phil Martelli, to quote Phil Martelli, are we, are we getting there? Well, I mean, you certainly have to think that way. And, yeah. uh, you know, as Phil said, he's looking for dollar bills on the way out the door. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, you never know what dollar could, could turn the tide. And one scenario would be to sit still and, and watch cancer just take over. Another scenario as, as Philadelphia has devoted itself to is to, is to fight it and, and hope for that great news someday. Greg down of the legendary basketball coach at Lower Marion High School joins us. His team will open the season against Coatesville and Chuck Moore this weekend on Friday, December 4th, looking for that other state championship. I believe if you win, it could be state title number four, correct? Yep. We'll, we'll hope for the best. We'll definitely see you at the Scholastic Play-by-Play -play sometime this year. Greg Downer, we appreciate you stopping by. Always good to see you. You look as probably as good as the boy. Oh, no, no, no. I think you look as good as Jeremy Treatment, right? Thank you, uh, thank you. Greg, great to say. Coach Downer, always a pleasure. For Voice of Reason, this is Shake Schwartz. We, for another edition of Voice of Reason, covering high school and college sports in the tri-state area, we'll see you at the games. Thank Wonderful. You.